Good evening, Michelle Humes, your pucker up gal. Oh my gosh, I do not have anything on my lips. That's okay, I'll wait. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Hang on a second. Oh, stretch. Michelle, stretch. Sorry about that. So I've been asked recently, how do you do your winged liner on your hooded eyes? So, I want to share that with you all because I have a lot of friends, a lot of friends that have the hooded, the hooded eye. Can you see there's nothing? It's just the droopy skin, y'all. <laughs> that droopy skin. Look, look, when you do the mean face, you can really see the hood then. <laughs> so, hello. How are y'all doing tonight? Say hello, and if this is your first time viewing me live, comment with the word new, so I can give you a shout out. Let me give you a shout out. Hey, Kelly. Hi, Brian. I hope I'm not going to be late to your live. I sure hope not. Okay, before I begin, I want to ask y'all a quick question, really quick. Okay, and please, if you have friends that have the hooded eye syndrome like me, please share this video if you find value with it. Hi, Colette. Colette, are you up late again, girl? She is up till 4 a.m. trying to catch my lives, y'all. <laughs> Give her a shout out. While I'm yapping away, I'm going to quickly prep my face. I need to prep these eyes for you so you can see what it looks like. Put on a little bit of primer. Always have to prime. You prime your house before you paint. You prime a painting canvas, blank, blank canvas before you paint, right? So, hey, hello, Mandela, Teresa. High five, y'all. Who's ready? Who's ready to do this? Who's ready to see this? Quick question. Quick question, really quick. I'm going to start dabbling real quick. Do you have a hard time using a liquid liner? If you answer yes, just put yes. Just put yes in the comments really quick. Put yes. It's 1 a.m. See, girl, you are up late all the time. Put a yes. I'm just going to quickly prep my face. I'm not doing a full makeup look. I'm just quickly prepping so that I can show you how to do a hooded eye winged eyeliner with a liquid pencil and three tips I'm going to show you three tips so if you're excited for the three tips show me some hearts share this with your girlfriend so they can see because you never know who has those hooded eyes we try right Misha we try we try like heck to get that wing and you know what and I can't promise you mine's going to be straight but I'm going to show you <laughs> I'm just going to show you anyways. <laughs> yes. Share with your girlfriends. I'm just going to blend this in real quick. This is my foundation, y'all. Let me just blend this real quick. And I'm doing this. I'm doing this regardless if I got patches on my back. I'm doing it regardless. That don't matter. We still got makeup. We still got tips to share, y'all. Still got the tips to share. All right. So let me just blend this really quick. I don't like looking pale. Blend this in really quick and we can just dive right in to these awesome tips to help y'all with your hooded eye, winged eyeliner. Real quick. Okay, real quick. That's good. Real quick. Okay, prep the eyes. Wait, before we start. You pray before you do? Shoot. Girl, I should do that. I should pray before I do this, <laughs> to be honest. Now, fair warning. Fair warning. I am going to be up close and personal. Okay? I'm going to be up close and personal so y'all can see this. Let me move my coffee out of the way because I do not want to knock this over. Let me get another sip real quick. Okay. Y'all ready? Tip number one. Tip number one. Comment with a one if you're ready for tip number one. Let me finish prepping the eyelid really quick. 
comment with a one. You're ready for tip number one. I know this looks funny, but bear with me, y'all. Uh, my allergy, I actually have the patches all over my back right now. And thank you for asking, Misha. Um, they will be coming off tomorrow. So tomorrow, I will know exactly what I am allergic to. I do know some of my allergies already, um, but I don't know all of them, so they're doing a patch test. Okay, so this isn't going to be perfect, because this is for demonstration purposes only, okay? So it's not going to be perfect, okay? But I'm just showing you. Prep the eyes. Now let's just pretend like we're getting, you know, we're doing our eye shadow. Let me get some eye shadow on the lid real quick. Okay, we're just going to do one eye with the eye shadow. Really quick. Not perfect, right? Just get it on there, right? And then we're going to have that transition color. We want to put that on there. Ooh, I saw that part. We're just going to put that on the lid up top a little bit, right? Here's tip number one. Start with your hardest eye first. So if you're right-handed, you're probably going to have more difficulty with your left eye. It's That's just how it is. <laughs> right? You're right-handed. The right eye is so easy, right? And then you go to do your left eye. You're like, oh, crap. Now they got to match, right? So always start with your hardest eye first first. So if it messes up a little bit, you easily match it on the other side, right? Ring finger woman is the lightest, so less wrinkles boo. <laughs> my ring finger, I can't hold it. Like I'm my hands are not I had that patch test. Ooh. Mm -mm. You were allergic to nickel. I'm reading your comments, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> I've got like eight patches with like eight different allergies on each patch. So what's that? 64 allergies? Okay. Next, let me just add real quick. I'm going to put in just, just a little bit in here. Just real quick. This is just for demonstration purposes only. This is my left eye, even though it looks right on y'all. Um, I just want to put a little bit of color on my eye because then it looks kind of funny if you just got a wing going on, right? <laughs> just a little bit. I just want to put a little color because <laughs> I want you to see, I want you to see the hood that's there. I do have a hood, a really severe hood actually, and it's, I have more of a droop on my right eye. Oh, yes, yes. If you do use your fingers, use your ring finger, you have less pressure on your um, ring finger than you do any of your other fingers. You are so right. Yes. Thank you for that. Okay, who's ready? So tip number one. Hi, Lisa. Tip number one is to do your worst eye first. So let's start, shall we? I've got my liquid eyeliner here. Hi, Annie. I've got my liquid eyeliner here, and let me see if I can get it out. My fingers are slippery, y'all. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here's tip number two. I'm going to go right into tip number two. Okay. I, I don't have anything on this eye because, you know, I'm just doing the wings, y'all. Okay. Okay. Let me close this up so I don't knock it over. All right, I'm getting up close, y'all. I'm getting up close. Don't mind my fingernails. I bite my nails. Bad habit. I need to stop. Tip number two. This one that I use is a fine tip. Very fine. Very, very, very fine tip. Liquid liner. Okay, so I could do a thin wing. I can do a thick wing. Um, and it doesn't smudge, which is good. Okay, second tip. Line it up with your nose, right here, come down, make sure your face is relaxed, if you have a hood, don't do this or go like that, just relax your face and line it up, right, slide it down, make a mark, make a mark this side same thing relax your face 
make a mark. Okay, that's the first step. That's the first, actually the second tip. First tip, if you missed it, is to do your worst eye first. If you're right-handed, do your left eye. If you're left-handed, do your right eye. <coughs> and I'm sorry if I seem a little stiffy. It's because the patches on my back feel like I'm mummified right now. Okay, so we're going to do the left eye first. And I've already done my little mark. <laughs> Excuse me. So here is the third tip. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. I'm not trying to school anybody. <laughs> because I know a lot of ladies with the hooded eyes are like, I just can't do a wing. You are looking at a tomboy who did gymnastics, backflips, climbing buildings, basketball, softball, climb trees, non-makeup wearing novice here. Okay? So if I can do this, if you practice, you can do it too, okay? All right, here we go. Now I've made my mark, my eye, relax your eye, right? Use, rest your pinky finger on your skin if you have shaky hands. Do you drink a lot of coffee like me and your hands are, are you, are you nervous trying to do it and your hands are like, oh, I can't do it. Balance your pinky finger on your skin and it stops the shake. It stops the, that's the third tip. It stops the shake. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and draw the line. Relax your face. Okay, if you've got a hooded eye. Relax. I'm going to look in my mirror. and draw your line, your mark. You know, you have beautiful, big, bold eyes, girl. <laughs> yes, it will work for regular big eyes too, it will. Those tips, you can do the same thing. So let's say I have those big, big eyes are fully open, right? You would, instead of relaxing, you would just close your eye and draw that line. That's all. But for, for a hooded eye, you need to relax your face. Relax it so that you're not drawing a line where it doesn't belong. Because when your face is relaxed and you do have a hooded eye, you want it to appear like you have a wing. But if you draw on with your, look at those eyelids, y'all. <laughs> if you draw on with your uh, your expression too, all right, it won't look, it won't look right. Okay, so, see I was like this raising it. So we're going to relax, see how it goes down, relax. Okay, then you're going to, with it relaxed, Go in a little bit. And do your little pointy wing there. Okay, it's relaxed. Let it dry. And you can fill it out after. Fill it out after. Let it dry a little bit, okay? Then you can pull, then once you have that mark, you can stretch your eye. You can stretch your eye and fill it out. Go straight down. Now see, you can do that too, but I'm not going to. Leave your eye closed. Don't open your eye, let it dry. Okay, let it dry. I know it looks long, but if you've got a hooded eye, it's going to look long. Believe me, when I open it after it dries, it will not look long. I know this looks funny, y'all. I know it looks funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Okay, let it dry, because you don't want to open, when you have a hooded eye and you open your eye, it, if it's not dry, it's going to touch your skin. 
and it's going to be all over. So let it dry. Give it time. Just fan that bad wing. Fan that wing. Woo hoo hoo. Fan it. <laughs> and this works for anybody, okay? But for the hooded eye, you want to keep it closed so it's dry. <laughs> Okay, now watch, watch. I'm not done with it, watch. I'm gonna relax my eye, okay? I'm gonna relax my eye. Can I be your mama? Your mom hates makeup? No, you've gotta change that girl. You gotta change that. Okay, so now I'm going to finish. This is the worst eye, okay? I'm going to finish. It's relaxed now, it's dry, it's relaxed, and the wing is there. Now I'm going to finish. So go to, I hope you can see me. Now you can actually go here. Whoops, see I just touched it. My eye blinked. My eye is twitching, y'all. I did not mean my eye right there. Let me get that. So... Just finish the line on top. Just finish that line right on top. You can go extreme. You can make it thicker. You can make it thinner. You can make it shorter. Just follow those steps. Make the mark. Draw. Put your finger down and draw with a relaxed eye and then complete. See the wing? Now, let's do the other side, shall we? <laughs> let's see if we can match them. <laughs> Hoo-wee. Mmm. Put it eyes. Make sure your eye is relaxed. See, you want to go like this, it looks a little longer. And that looks funny, but. And these are old lady, my old lady eyes, my allergies. Oh yeah, it's much thicker on that side. Relax it. Whoops. Don't you love those whoops? And it's so tiny, it's so itty bitty little tip, itty bitty little wing, y'all. <laughs> itty bitty little wing. Look at the little wing. Yee. See that clump? It looking even to you? So you gotta let it dry. This is for the ladies with the hooded eyes that say, but I can't, I just can't get a wing. <laughs> but I can't get a wing. I'm showing you right now. Okay, so let me fill that in. And 
and of course I do not have any eyeshadow on this eye I only put it on this eye, I didn't put any on this eye That side's a little thicker. This is our perfect liquid liner. I sell this liner, and I have some available. If y'all want one, you can message me later. It's so easy to use. It's got a felt tip. It's not, it's not, um, the liquid doesn't come out. You know, if I go like this, I'm sorry I'm squinting, y'all. If I go like this, it's not going to drip out. It's an actual marker, like liquid liner. My other one I had for, um, over, there we go. Okay. I'm going to relax my eyes. They look pretty even, y'all. Might as well do the bottom, right? See, I have the hooded eye thing. Mm -hmm. For the older ladies, if you don't make this too heavy, see, it's really easy to use. very easy to use. That's why me, the tomboy, can use this stuff. Because it's super easy. It's like, does it for me. <laughs> it does it for me, y'all. And you can do it as thin or as thick as you want. Th Ooh, it's my cover. So let's go over the tips really quick again. Limelight by Alcone. That's what I sell. Limelight by Alcone. So, tip number one do your worst eye first, and then use the edge of your nose up to make your mark, and then relax your finger. So if you have the shakes, relax your finger so you're not all jittery everywhere. And then if you have a hooded eye, relax your eye and draw your first little wing. And then you can finish it off and make sure that it dries in between. If you don't have the hooded eye, you can still do the same thing. You just relax your eye like this and make your mark. You can actually do that with your eye, make it like this, nice and tight, and make the wing and just let it dry. This is smudge proof so once it dries let's see, I can still feel it's a little wet. Let me see, I think this one now looks thicker than this one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. and that's the wing! There you have it. There you have it. I want to see. Let me see how much it is. I should know how much it is. It's not expensive. All I know is from what the pros use. <laughs> it's only eighteen. It's not. It's not expensive. It's only eighteen dollars. All right, ladies, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please show me some love and share with your friends. Sharing is caring. You might have friends, makeup artists that have the hooded eye, and they might need these tips to help them or their clients. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay pucker up beautiful, and have a great Thursday evening. Bye, y'all.